Welcome again to the hobo and his girlfriend. She's back. She's back. She's back. Yes, and this is the hobo and his girlfriend wrestling podcast. My name is Hobo Tom. And I'm his girlfriend, Heather. And we're here to review, and oh, oh before I get to that, Happy 4th of July, Happy everyone. Happy 4th of July. Hope it's a safe one. Tom, look at me. Where's your 4th of July shirt I bought you? And the star. Now you look yeah. better. Now you got the spirit. There we go. And we're here to review Raw today and give you a little quick recap. But first, very quick shout out. Brian Cervantes, thank you for subscribing. And you know what that means? What does that mean? We're at nine Yay! subscribers. We're at nine. Nine. But not ten. <gasps> Lost the hat. Uh-oh. Always uh -oh. some. Five, nothing. four, three, two, one. Ten! Yes, and you know what happens at our when we get our tenth subscriber? We have a perfect ten pizza party in your honor, and that's going to include me using my GoPro. And going to watch me play WWE 2K17. And I have yet to make all the characters, but it's going to be probably a fatal Tom six way to see who is the ultimate Tom. See if it's Hobo Tom, Tom Von Break, Corporate Tom, Dr. Keller. And I still have to make. Old Tom and Evil Tom. And we might get a clip of Diamondback Jack Maverick. You know what match we also might have, sweetie? What? Might have the, the Battle of the Heathers. Princess Ikoshi versus Mistress Heather. Yes! Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching and your subscribing. And see here. A couple of sh quick shout outs. Again, please watch the previous video. It has a lot more videos of wrestling from When Worlds Collide. And I'd also like to thank Southern Pro Lucha Libre. Eventually, they're coming to town. But now, it is time to talk about Raw. And Raw was, uh, I don't know. I mean, it wasn't that great of a show. It just seemed to come on long. And with a quick recap, Again, thank you very much, Brian Cervantes. I'll also post a picture of El Macho de Muerta at the end, so we'll get two quick little things. And just start off with the Roman Reigns running down Bobby Lashley. The, the great part about this part is that actually that someone shouted out Undertaker. Got an Undertaker chant, which was a good. Um, from there, we had the leader of Worlds, Woken Matt. I don't know what happened to Ray Wyatt, but then again, we had the B-Squad do their promotion, and the cool thing is, is that Bo Dallas, you know, he's actually the brother of Bray, Bray, Bray Wyatt. No. Yep, yep, because they're both sons of Mike Rotundo. Cool. And then Mike Rotundo used to be in the old varsity squad. Interesting. And he teams up with uh, Steinert's, I think Dr. Death, Steve Corrigan. Again, that was back in the day when I used to watch wrestling. Back when it was an NWA. I think, again, a long time ago. But again, so we had this time Woken Matt versus Broken Axel Curtis. And this, this, was, this was a good match. It was fun. It advanced the stories. At least that there were no botches, at least, which is always a good sign. And it was fun. Matt started off strong in the match, and then Curtis Axel came in. I mean, he had all their signature moves. Bo Dallas actually interfered a little bit, cost Matt Hardy the match, again after his delete elbows and delete chance. And you know what that means, sweetie? What? This match 
is a cheeseburger match. Everyone likes cheeseburgers, especially on the 4th of July. Right? Right. And then, I guess that was a fun match. Then we had Bobby Lashley come in. He just said, Roman is there just to get heat. And that was kind of funny. And then you have the beginning of the counseling of Sasha Banks and Bailey. Please, 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 WWE, do not make this like the three sisters of Lashley or the Bailey of This Is Your Life segment. Ooh. And this led to actually the second match. Again, tag team match. Again, this seemed kind of tag team heavy. You had Apollo Crews and Titus O'Neil. Titus Worldwide! Versus the Authors of Pain. And again, this was actually a pretty fun match. I mean, Apollo Crews is amazingly athletic. Titus is amazingly athletic. The Authors of Pain are just the monsters they are. And the heck's this? Is this a cheeseburger? Yes, it is, folks. This match was also a cheeseburger. And I think this is the last time we see the cheeseburger for the rest of the show. Because after that, everything kind of went south. And it got really, really long. And then this led us to, again, all this stuff. Oh, wait, maybe it was wrong. The Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns match versus Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. It was, it was pretty good. I would like to say that I did see you on TV. From that sign we saw. Oh yeah, part. we saw you on TV. And again, it was it was a good it was a good technical start. Um, calling Dolph Ziggler a Kent State Wrestling Hall of Famer. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Um, again, it was a good back and forth. It showed the power of Drew McIntyre. Well. I saw Drew, but my opinion of Roman and Drew are they are two very strong men. I saw Drew McIntyre once too. Cool. And, and in fact, he almost, almost became his, his brother in law. Oh, yeah, I took that picture. So you have to find that picture and yeah. post it for all of YouTube to see. Yes. Yes. And that's a story for another day. Maybe before our perfect 10 pizza party. I'll recap that story and show many pictures about wrestling events with my family. Again, this was the first time I actually heard Roman Reigns got cheers. And that might have been because he was tagging with Seth Rollins. It was, it was good. Um, however, with a death day finish, baby, you know what that means? What? Nobody wins. Because the revival, because they had a match with Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley later in the show, came down and beat the stunt out of Roman Reigns. So it was effectively a four on two. It was good. It kind of sets, sets things up. And the amazing thing is that Coachman seems to be turning heel, which, which is weird. He's becoming the bad guy. Well, I thought the rivals looked like gang members. Well, remember. They have they do not do flips. They just do fists. Then we had Baron Corbin and Finn Balor talking back and forth to each other. Baron, I thought, was all talk and a wannabe. Yes, he still looks like a TGIF manager with that vest on. And yeah, that's what it was. And then Corbin started to get what, and he deserved that. Again, if you do that what cadence, you will get what you get. You will get what it. I mean, Elias Samson backstage strumming on the guitar, and all of a sudden, Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan show up. I want to know how she gets that blue tongue. Me too. Because it's not blue icing or a blue popsicle. That is a bright blue like a smurf. Smurf. Old school reference. I like that. And again, this led up to the match between Ember Moon and Liv Morgan. And it was, it was okay. I mean, the thing is, the crowd was quiet. 
And the worst thing could be as a pro wrestler is to have a quiet crowd because that means no one cares. If they boo you, great. If they cheer you, great. If they just sit there and just text and stuff and email and, and Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff, that means they're not watching you. And even though Ember Moon is a great wrestler and Liv Morgan is getting better, it was just a really quiet crowd. Well, I thought Amber Moon has some creepy eyes. And if she breathed fire, that would complete her outfit. And, <laughs> talking about Amber Moon's outfit, Liv Morgan kind of grabbed some trunks. And if and if Amber Moon had a $75 pair of bottoms, good old Liv Morgan pulled up 50 bucks of them. He almost had a wedgie by doing that. Yes. Not good for the sponsors. And I think that happened to Charlotte Flair a couple times. Or was it Sa Sasha Banks? It's probably both of them. Happens to everyone every so often. <laughs> we um Scott. A full Ember Moon. Then the card goes on. Again, that match was a toast match. Again, the crowd wasn't into it. The crowd didn't care. It was back to Banks and Bailey. It's not as bad as This Is Your Life. I just hope they end this soon or it does something. Yeah. Well, during the counseling part, the two girls there, I thought they were like two sisters fighting. They'll probably make up. Well, we, we shall see in the future. And this led to the Roman Reigns, Bobby Lashley versus the Revival match. And with this, the crowd started to get tired of having Roman Reigns pushed and shoved down their throats. There was a chance that we want Bobby Roman sucks. So at least they're thinking of Roman Reigns, but again, it was a good match. I mean, the Revival, they're so good. They do the classic tag team wrestling where they distract the opponent, they get in they get in there, and, and this worked their magic. I think it really is a tag team specialist. And it, it, was, it was pretty good it, for the most part. I thought all four of them were bad to the bone wrestlers. I just think they were bad to the bone, and I'll be quite honest, when you talk about being bad to the bone, there's only one food product that I could ever think of, that of course having a piece of ham, you have a, that ham bone soup, and that means we have, what's this? This is a ham sandwich match. So that means this match was a ham sandwich, and it was okay, it's better than nothing I guess. Um, again, the revival did get disqualified. So again, it was, we had a doctor finish, baby. Nobody wins. Well, actually, Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley won. Bobby Lashley got sick of Roman's Reigns and Essex and left, and actually got cheered for when he left, which is kind of good. Um, then you have some backstage about Roman Reigns, and then this sets up Roman Reigns versus Bobby Lashley at Extreme Rules, which I should be able to live stream. I have to figure out the technical things. But you might see me live streaming very soon, so that means be ready with your comments, questions, and concerns. Again, always like and subscribe to this wonderful channel. Again, I know you want to see more of her. Less of the hobo. More girlfriend. More girlfriend makes show better. Then we had another match, or, or a setup to a match between Noe Jose and, Mo and Mojo Rally. Again, this was kind of, I'm not even going to rate this because no match happened. Mojo just said, I'm not giving you your new match. I'm leaving. Uh, Mojo Rally was, was talking. And then he got wanted what she deserves. Well, every time I see No Way Jose, he always gets the crowd fired up. But Mojo, it seemed like he had some anger issues. For some reason, Mojo Rally does not like cheeseburgers. For the second time again, 
last week and this week, he beat up the cheeseburger. No bueno. Cheeseburgers are good. Right? Right. Everyone likes a good cheeseburger. Oh, yes. You can't, can't screw up a cheeseburger. You do your band from the Your kitchen. toast. Yes. Then we go to a match. A really long setup because it was uh, blah, 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 all about Alexa Bliss. And this led to a match between Mickey James and Nia Jax. I don't know if Nia Jax is turning heel or what. Again, she was wearing kind of the traditional heel clothing, which is a black wrist tape. Mm -hmm. Still can't see Mickey James as a face. She doesn't do face stuff. It was an okay match. I mean, at least you had some storytelling going on with Mickey James attacking the leg of the bigger opponent, Nia Jax. Nia Jax eventually showed her power. This was a can of soup. I mean, soup's good for you. It's nutritious, but... Soup is soup? Fly. Yep. Well, I thought Nye and the other girl were Superwoman and Catgirl. Natalia. Natalia. Yeah, she is Catgirl. And then Mickey ain't got no chance against Nye. And then they'll us to another Kevin Owens promo. And this is him trying to gain inner peace because he knows he has to fight Braun Strowman. And then we get kind of the, the last match. Which is Kevin Owens versus Braun Strowman. And it, was a, it was a toast match. And I think it lasted all of like five seconds, the match part at least. Yeah. Because Kevin Owens took the 10 count. Again, we have nine subscribers, we get ten, we have the perfect ten party. But Kevin Owens took the ten count for the count out loss. And then ran out of the arena. Braun Strowman said, I'll take a ten count, I'll take a ten count win. But then it did not did not go well for Kevin Owens the rest of it. Kevin's just a win. Oh, he is from Canada too. No comment. Canada is the USA's hat. USA, 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 USA. Let freedom ring. So as Kevin tries to hide, he realizes that his wrestling outfit does not include the keys to his car. However, there was a porto potty nearby. Yep. Um, well, it's probably been sitting in the hot sun all day, getting very mm -hmm. nice, stinky smell. Again, being the cowardly heel Kevin Owens is, he decided to hide in the portal potty. Eventually, Braun got tired of just standing in the ring doing nothing. He went out, gave chase to Kevin Owens. Could not find him, but he did find that portal potty. And he taped it up and shut. Brought it back into the ring and kicked it over to the side of the stage. And the next thing we see, Kevin Owens covered in the blue stuff. Looking like a use. Smurf. Like a Smurf. Maybe that's the same stuff they put on Liv Morgan's tongue. No, hers is bright blue. Okay. Well, that's good. Cause that's, looking at that stuff in the video. No. It's like the blue Air water blue. from toilet flame, from um, yes. airplane toilets. Yes. Yeah, no good. And that was it. Raw. Uh, uh, what can you say? It was a TV show. It was entertaining to watch. And again, my most beautiful, amazing, and lovely girlfriend was here to watch watch that again. No. Oh. Um, no. And thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to, you can feel free to leave a email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. We shall see you again tomorrow night. She's going to be here tomorrow night, too. Yay! For our SmackDown review. And everyone have a good night. Thank you very much. Good night. Again, thank you, Brian Cervantes. You'll even get your third El Macho Di Muerto picture. Bye.